work with Peru began many years before I started with the company. Um, design was given a hand-knit cabled stitch hat that was made from organic yarn in Peru. It was a hand-knit hat and we're, we were kind of a group of us just standing around it thinking, hmm, okay, uh, it's about organic cotton, it's about fair trade, but first and foremost, we're a design company. And the first thing that we look for, and when I pick up a sweater, I, I want to be moved by it. It's the design that comes first. I don't actually want to recognize that it's organic cotton. I don't want to even recognize that it's from Peru. The design process starts with fabric and yarns. We work very collaboratively with these materials for days on it and seeing how things marry together and it sort of bubbles up to be what the season will be about. The organic Peruvian cotton has this amazing hand feel. It really does feel like cashmere. And I know women in the stores are sometimes, and even I've heard sales associates are like, this is cashmere, it's not cotton. Cause, so it's the most scrumptious feel, hand feel I've ever worked with in terms of cotton. And I think it goes back to its organic origins and the way the whole process is um, low impact, you know, good on the earth, those qualities make it a really superior cotton. Organic farming is a system of farming that strives to be in balance with nature. There's no use of chemical pesticides or fertilizers or genetically modified seeds and it's healthier for the farmers in your community. For cotton specifically, um, people don't realize that what they wear is actually an agricultural act. Every time they choose to put on a shirt and buy a shirt, they're actually making a choice about what we put into the earth. I was working before that in New York in Citigroup doing banking, and my personal interest came from seeing what my father was doing. I saw a future in organics and decided to bring a little of what I had learned during my MBA and all my work there and try to make it something that could be more sustainable. We're a technological society and we think we can fix things. We look at inputs and synthetic chemicals. We look at genetically modified seeds. But we should be looking at the system and how we adjust and adapt to the system. So you have the part that you are not using pesticides or agrochemicals. You are not putting that into the earth and you are not polluting the waters. We want our customers to feel good about their purchases. That includes their body and their mind. And our organic program down in Peru helps us with that. So when our customer purchases organic cotton, she's saying yes to a healthy world. She's saying yes to clean air and clean water.